hedgehogs. They are easily one of the most unmistakable little critters out there. But how much do you know about them? Sonic is somehow a hedgehog, but they're not really known for being quick on their feet. They're irrefutably adorable, sometimes pets, and they're prickly little fellas that roll themselves up like a pill buck. But what else? Where are they native to? What do they eat? And why do hedgehogs have spikes? I'm Devin Boker. You are listening to The Wildlife. Let's start with the zoological bits. You might find this shocking, but there are 17 species across five genera found throughout parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa. They've actually been introduced to New Zealand as well. None are native to Australia, and none can be found in the Americas. But there was at one time, the now extinct genus Amphichinus. The first hedgehogs evolved around 15 million years ago, and they haven't changed much since. If you take a deep look at their family tree, you'll see connections to shrews in the distant past, probably linked through their shared ancestors with gymnures, aka moon rats. Hedgehogs are nocturnal omnivores, eating everything from insects, snails, and snakes to carrion, eggs, and frogs, really anything that they can catch that's small enough to eat, and they're quick enough to catch. Despite looking like a porcupine or an echidna, they are not related. Instead, this is a case of convergent evolution, when two or more unrelated species evolve similar characteristics for a similar purpose. Think wings and birds, bats, and butterflies. An adult hedgehog's body can be around 20 to 30 centimeters in length and covered in up to 5,000 quills, each one two to three centimeters in length. If stacked end to end, that's somewhere over 450 feet. Those spikes, they're hair, just denser. They're made of the same stuff, keratin, the same stuff that our hair and nails are made of. Just as porcupines and echidnas use their quills for protection, so do hedgehogs. They aren't the fastest or most ferocious, and when you're a slow little critter with a soft belly, outrunning or fighting isn't much of an option. That leaves you with two, hiding and defending. Their spines aren't toxic and they can't be used as a projectile. Instead, the spikes help to deter would-be predators, as does their ability to roll up into a ball like a little land urchin. That's all for today. And remember, the wildlife is supported by listeners like you at patreon.com slash the wildlife. Special thanks to Paul over at the Avast podcast, Sarah and Mitchell Strammel, Karen Bingston, Kim Drolet, Karen Bergman, Vikram Baliga, Megan McNeil, Matt Capel, and Christina Boker. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.